Well, would you welcome onto this stage right now the fabulous Albert. Yeah. Hello, uh, my name's Albert, uh, retired coach driver. I've uh, 37 years out on the job. And uh, you get some odd incidents, you know. There were this one time, like, and uh, I'm driving across uh, Yorkshire Moors. And I broke down. I don't know why, I just started crying, you know. <laughs> and uh, we were all glad, like, when we got uh, new mobile phones. And, uh, you know, I went down for mine, and I'm chatting with Ray, like, and, uh, and Ray said, Oh, but he said, uh, you love this phone. He said, it's grand. He said, battery life's beautiful. And uh, reception. Oh, he said, it picks up crystal clear. Now, what Ray didn't tell me, of course, is that crystal clear is the name of a radio station in Luxembourg. I once said to my dad, I said, uh, shoulder blades, coccyx, love handles and spinal column. And uh, he hit me for talking back. Yes, I like that one. I'll tell you a true story now. It's perfectly true, this. Uh, honestly, goodness. As a kid, all I wanted were, were push bike. And uh, 1940, 10th birthday light, uh, I'm out in the yard playing, and father calls me in. And, uh, and I went inside, and there's, there's a brand new push bike there, leaning against the sink. And, and I said to the father, like, I said, uh, who's his bike? He said, it's yours. There you go. I didn't say it was funny, did I? I just said it was true. <laughs> Thought I'd share that with you. I'm going to get off anyway, because I've got a game of balls lined up. But uh, do look after yourselves. Keep taking your vitamins, and I'll catch you around. ta -ra now. You're in for a treat now. Would you welcome, on stage, the fabulous Leslie Gibson. Yeah! Has anybody seen Sally Webster? Where are you, Sal? Hey, turn the music off, will you? Hey, has anybody seen Sally? Is she under your table, mate? <laughs> what is it about that Kevin Webster from Coronation Street? It always looks, he's gonna, it always looks as if he's going to head the ball, doesn't he? Or butt someone. Where are you, Sally? <laughs> Sophie and Rose, you need me. I'm the one that gives them the snack crackle and pop in the morning. <laughs> anyway, I've got to find Sal, and I know where she might be. She might have nipped into the cafe. She'd have a bacon sarnie with Rip Rod in Roy. Two brain cells. Hey, Roy, have you seen Sally? Has she been in the cafe for a bacon butter? Er, uh, no. <laughs> Sally has not been in here. I don't know where she is. I don't know where I am half the time. And neither does Hayley. Or should I say Harry, Fred, Dick or Tom. I'm, I'm, I'm not quite sure. But I always knew there was something wrong with Hayley when I, I discovered that she was hung like a donkey. <laughs> Can you imagine them lot on the Titanic? Who got Titanic for Christmas? The video? One, two... Hey, imagine all the Coronation Street lots on the Titanic. And all other celebrities. Hey, Uncle Fred. Look, Uncle Fred, I can see a little bit of water coming through the ceiling. I think the boat's going to sink, Uncle Fred. Ah, don't be silly, young ass. We have it all be silly. <laughs> this boat's unsinkable, Ashley. I say unsinkable. Julian Clary would be thrown overboard. Oh, I do love being on a cruise. <laughs> because, first of all, the ship's going down on me. <laughs> and now they're throwing me a boy. And down below, everyone from Brookside would be arguing with each other. 
Leo en Matt Johnson. Dat, dat, dat. Waar is alles voor te komen, mevrouw Manne Gave? Nee, don't worry about it, Leo, son. All right. It's, uh, it's probably Tina just messing around with the horse, babe. And for me, Newcastle, you've been brilliant. Thank you very much. Have a night. Right, let's have a, a huge, fantastic, fantastic welcome for the one and only Paul Richardson. Yes, let's see it. I'm going to uh, start things by doing uh, a big hero of mine. Well, I'd like to, but I won't, so I'll do Terry Wogan instead. Okay, you may have seen Andy's bloomers that he does these days, yeah? I'm going to go start with a bit of Terry Wogan. You know, I've only been working for the BBC since John Logie Baird was a new high to a cameraman. You get to see some sights, I simply defy all explanation. Like the pilot film for a new series of Ironsides, starring Glenn Hoddle. Only this time, the sleuth's paralysis isn't brought about by the bullet from a would-be assassin, but by sins from a previous job. <laughs> Have a look at this clip from an old edition of question of sport. Uh, well, you enjoyed this incredibly uh, interesting moment. Both teams are on 15 points as we move into our what happened next round. Al Hunter's team, what happened next? Well, it's shocker, absolutely shocker. He's out of his area, he loses the ball, he's in no man's land. He's slapping about, loses the ball, that's a man. Now, all he has to do is slay it under the keeper. And that's a goal. But he needs to make sure, checks back, must us. Now, if you've been fat, that have been a goal. Yeah, I mean, Adam's right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you gotta ask yourself, is he really fit? Yeah, I mean, uh... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he, he'd been out quite a long time with that injury that he picked up in uh, string fellas, and, uh, yeah, you know, I mean, you gotta ask yourself, you know, he bought himself about the park, but he just seemed like that bit pace in the final third, didn't he? Yeah, you see, Newcastle's problem is, of course, they've got strength in numbers, but not in quality. You see, I mean, that's the trouble. Well, yeah, apparently I heard that uh, Newcastle had attended a special uh, sermon given by the Archbishop of Canterbury before the game. Yeah, but Shearer still didn't get the service. I mean... <laughs> well, anyway, that's not as bizarre as getting Jack Nicholson to direct the next Star Trek movie. Starring Sean Connery and Roger Moore. Move ship to rather what? Dispatch security teams with phasers yet to stun. And send a subspace message to Starfleet. So I've got Klingons on my scanner, sir. <laughs> Let's just forget the Klingons gag routine for now, shall we, Roger? Open communications with the Klingon ship. So our shield's gone down. It's going to take me at least another ten minutes to get it up again, sir. <laughs> this isn't a bloody Bond movie, Roger. So just stop with the double entendre, okay? Plot of course for Sigma 7, Warp 6. So? You know those problems I have with my lines, Sean? <laughs> yeah, what are you trying to tell me, Roger? Oh, <laughs> well, actually, sir. What I'm actually trying to say, actually, sir, is that, um, however, the uh, Klingons, uh, oh, yes, we're unable to move, sir. And uh, the Kling we seem to be held by the Klingons. I knew it together eventually. <laughs> Good night. How was it for you? Did that go fast or what? Uh, very fast, yeah. It seemed to slow down towards the end, I felt. Yeah. Uh, it sort of picked up its pace quite naturally in the middle, but right. like, I felt I saw, like, lost them a little bit midway yeah, through it's, that. Yeah, it's I a felt. bit wordy, the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Just try and cut it down to as, you know, uh, as many gags as you can. And just, right. just condense it, really. Uh -huh. What about you, Colin? What, what I enjoyed it. Think? It's a good yeah. crowd. And, um, yeah. But it, I found it had time in it. That was yeah. the thing, doing the time. And Th that uh, old character you're doing, yeah. it's very, very uh, low. You know, right. because it, 
with it being an old guy, he didn't talk very loud, the old guy, and you, you really need a great sound system. Either mm. that, or just try and get it a bit louder. I've still got to work on that. A bit. That trembly voice that you're talking about as well. Yeah. Need to work on that, definitely. And, and uh, Leslie. What, what was your reaction to the crowd? I mean, you... I thought it was a really, really good crowd. I mean, really, that Kevin... Kevin really uh, up for it, yeah. The, what's his name? Kevin Webster. Kevin Webster. Kevin Webster. Yeah. I mean, it's a killer, that one. Yeah, that's a favourite with them. I yeah. mean, it's just, yeah. just so funny. It cracks me yeah. up every time. Some parts of Titan I feel should move more like you're in it. And a um, panic situation yeah, like a it, boat is sinking, you know. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's a bit long as well. Just, yeah. just get the best out of it and then get on to something else, I think. But it's great, you know. I'm, I'm really... Uh, Astounded with you, yeah. yeah. Enjoyed it. Yeah, all, all of you. Really. So well done, and uh, thank you. And uh, I hope to support you someday, somewhere. Yeah. <laughs>